the upright. <laughs> She's the author of five books of a Hotel Fiesta is one. The dig. Then suddenly news and hook. And she's also got in a, a fellowship for the, from the uh, C.B. Taylor Ranieri Foundation. So she's been busy, but uh, <laughs> she's been busy. But what I think is kind of good is just be able to do one's own work, but also be aware of Elijah. I would read this. It's the only poem I know that's about an inauguration, and also it's by Robert Lowell. So it is, uh, there's a serious Boston connection. As for myself, wherever there was a street going indifferently about her business, I was the dog. At first, I wept. I became its beatings, shitting on command, bred and bred into more and more of it. I crouched behind its bark, still as a stone axe, I lunge at a greasy picnic on the table of some lawn. I was dog's belonging, dog told me. We were nothing in and of ourselves, one fiction abusing another. I woke up in the cave of its crate, in the kennel of its name, the hinges of our jaws locked tight by the muzzle. My nose had become an organ of thoughtfulness. My ears were shells in which the seas of the voices of the world thrashed and night fell, day rose, the old died, the young went on, and one night I lay down, and in the morning I was dog, and my actions were fetched by orders. Fetch, lie down, lie down here. Shaggy mat of stink, the tide of thought receded, and I howled at the door of my own mind, wanting out of that empty house. And the voices of the masters perched above me said, you are nothing, you are just a gregarious piece of furniture. The world came and went beyond the bars of my life. I was dog, then I embraced it, then I was undone and replaced by it.